Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a four box break of 2022-23 Bowman University Chrome Basketball. Random letter break number 39, the last third of the uh, case that we popped open not too long ago. Um, also, a little special here, four spot giveaway, so let's do that first. So we only sold 13 spots outright. We're gonna randomize your names and the top four after seven, we'll get extra spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Got Nathan down to Allen after seven. Or sorry, Nathan, Allen, Allen, Nathan. Top four after seven, sorry. There we go. So, good news. A little buy one, get one scenario for you. So we'll put those little rooftops next to your name. And now let's gather all the names again and let's do the randomizer that'll randomize your names and match you up with a letter. After six times, one and a five. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Alan down to Daniel. And then one and a five, six times for the letters. We got M down a P after six. All right, Alan with M and K. Nathan E G. Alan with C. Nathan with T. Daniel with B. Nathan with F L H. Alan with V. Last spot Mojo. Daniel with D. Alan with R A. Nathan with J. Daniel with S. Craig W Z. Nathan N O. Daniel with P. Let's sort this alphabetically. And I guess we'll pause the video just for a little bit, see if there's any trades, and when we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so that list right here remains the same here on a Monday, random letter break number 39. The next break, 41, 40, 40 41, 42, will be uh, the same breaks from a fresh case so if you're looking for another four box of this in the store right now check it out jazbeescasebreaks.com all right and we're probably going to see um hopefully see a lot of the men here in this college because there's there's some of the ladies are in here too but hopefully we'll see a lot of these guys get drafted this week. I think the draft is, when's the draft, Gilo? This Thursday? Thursday, I think. Now everyone knows, well, unless the Spurs shock the world, Wemby, Wembenyama is going first overall, right? Who's going? Who's going second overall? Let's see. Anyone have a decent mock draft here? I guess the Ringer has a mock draft. They're saying Wembenyama, obviously, first overall. They've got uh, draft is Thursday. Got it. This Thursday. Today's the nineteenth. Whenever Thursday is. 20th, Tuesday, 21, Wednesday, 22nd, June 22nd. The Ringer, for whatever it's worth, I don't know who wrote this, but uh, who wrote who on The Ringer wrote this, but they're saying Brandon Miller going second to Charlotte. Which be interesting. Charlotte has been blessed with some good draft picks. But they just haven't really put, they haven't really put anything to kind of together. It has been injuries to LaMelo. I think that's been an that's been an issue. I think Gordon Hayward hasn't really been healthy. Terry Rozier, I think, is on that team. Maybe it wasn't a good fit. I don't know. They they got to figure things out there. But they're going to be blessed with another good player here. Uh, G Leaguer Scoot Henderson for to Portland. Maybe that's what they're thinking. We got Eamon Thompson number four. Jerace Walker. We've seen him in this set here. 
They're thinking to the Pistons. Anthony Black, we've seen him in this set as well. Uh, maybe sixth overall pick, Cam Whitmore, Asur Thompson. They're thinking Anthony Black to the Magic. Magic just loading up on all these top five, top ten players. Cam Whitmore, they're thinking to the Pacers. We got Asar Thompson to uh, the Wizards, Bilal Kolobali, Wemby's teammate, going to the Jazz, Taylor Hendrickson, possibly to Dallas. So those are the first 10 right there. All right. Yeah, and hopefully we'll see. There's Cam Whitmore. We heard his name, possible top 10 pick. That's what you want to see. And then you want to see Aaliyah Boston get drafted to a big team as well. 91 out of 99. It's going to go to Allen and the letter A, green parallel. We got Julian Phillips, those purple shimmers, not numbered. And our first autograph, Julian Phillips. From Tennessee. Is he on this on the ringers list here? They're looking at Julian Phillips to be a second round pick. But who knows? Maybe he turns into an all-star. Could be a late bloomer. 39 out of 50 on that one. Nathan with the letter J. Might be a good idea to hold on to some of these players until the draft and see see what happens. There's Caitlin Clark. Allen with the letter C. Sky Clark. 140 out of 399. Purple mini diamonds. And our second autograph is Ryan Nemhard. Is he on this list? No, Ryan Nemhard is not on this list. Maybe he's. Maybe he's still in college. All right, next box. I'm hoping so too, Sheila. Gabe's saying, hey, I really hope this set ends up being like the Bowman draft of basketball. I kind of enjoy it. And it works well with basketball, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of lot of Bowman first stamps on, uh, on these cards, so that's a good thing, right? So that kind of gives you like some separation saying, hey, this is it. Here's the, uh, here's the, uh, here's their first which is always nice in the baseball world. All right, let's look at Kevin O'Connor, by the way, wrote this for the, uh, for the ringer. Let's keep going down the list. We saw the first 10. Next, Derek Lively to the Orlando Magic. Kobe Bufkin from Michigan to OKC. We got Jalen Hood, Shafino. Need to make this a little bit smaller here. Jalen Hood, Shafino to Toronto. He's, he's out of Indiana. Keontae George from Baylor to the Pelicans. Grady Dick from Kansas to Atlanta. 
Cason Wallace out of Kentucky to the Utah Jazz. This is the Ringer's mock draft for basketball this weekend. Who's going to go to my Lakers? You're thinking Jet Howard. We've seen his autograph here in this set a number of times. That'd be nice. That's good for the hobby. Let's see. He's out of Michigan. Had an up and down freshman season in Michigan, but has the body of an NBA pro. It's more of a wing player here. Lakers do need that. And has shown the type of scoring ability that promises a long career, though he might require a little, a bit more patience. The Lakers should do what they want and worry less about making LeBron James happy in the short term. Which is, which is true. Also, Laker player development is pretty good at identifying players and excuse me, and then working with them and turning them into starters. We saw that with Alex Caruso. We saw that with um, Austin Reeves. You might see that with some of last year's draft picks too, like uh, Scotty Pippen Jr., Max Christie. So there are other, you know, there are, there are other organizational decisions may, may, may be questioned, but I think they've got a great scouting department. It's 89 out of 100, Oscar Toshibe. Toshibe, Shibe, Shibe? It's Anthony Black, we heard him mentioned on the list. So yeah, this Thursday should be fun. We're going to see some of these players get into, hopefully, the NBA. 171 out of 199, Tiger Campbell. UCLA's Tiger Campbell. Is he, is he on the mock draft list here? No, he's not. Maybe he'll be a... I'm sure he'll be an undrafted free agent or something like that, unless he's playing another year. I forget. JJ Starling. And then we got RJ Davis on this list. Do they have R.J. Davis on this list? No, they do not. In that, in that case, they may be playing another year in college. That's a possibility, too. It's good to look this stuff up. Allen with the letter R, 20 out of 99. And a big kahuna, Malik Renault. That is a uh, shorter printed insert. I think we only see a couple of these. Be just a few of these per per case. I don't see them on this list though. Anyway, that'll still go to Allen. Letter M. This is just one mock draft, of course. It's just the Ringer's mock draft. Jeremy Roche. Oh, and there's Hunter Dickinson. Uh, Nathan, with the letter H. Another box. Ah, okay. Thank you. See, yeah, some of these guys might not even be eligible or may not have declared themselves eligible for this year's draft. Gabe's just saying Dickinson just transferred to Kansas, so he might be good a good hold for next year's draft. Or he, if he has a hot tournament, you know, NCAA tournament, that could be a good time to sell then, so that might be a good hold for Nathan until maybe next season. LSU still up 2-0 on, uh, well, that's number 8 seed LSU up 2-0 on number 1 seed Wake Forest. Both have one win. I think it's double elimination, right? But bottom of the fifth, a lot of game to be played.
Another four box in the store uh, will be from a fresh case. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Got Derek Lively. We heard his name on the list at three ninety nine. There's Caleb Love. There's Grady Dick. We heard his name on the list on the mock draft. And here's Oscar to twenty five. Oscar Shiebwe. I think that's it. Shiebwe. I'm going to go with that. I don't think he was on this list. But that'll still go to Nathan and the letter O. Could still end up somewhere. You never know. We got Devin Carter, Aqua Wave to two ninety nine. Yeah, Brandon Miller might end up being your, your second overall pick. That's going to go to Daniel in letter B. And we got Armando Baycott. They caught not on the ringer's mock draft list. I think they do two rounds as well. But that'll still go to letter A. That'll be for Allen. It's Nick Smith Jr. Caitlin Clark for Allen and the letter C. All right, final box. Here's Paul Skeins on with ESPN, the ESPN broadcast. It's supposed to be like a top five pick in uh, this year's MLB draft. Yeah, I was just thinking that, Gilo. I was thinking I went to the U.S. Open of golf yesterday at L.A. Country Club, which is pretty exciting. In spite of some logistical issues, you know what I mean, that, that, were, that were there, just in terms of being able to get around the course and a little, you know, I'll have to figure that stuff out next time they do it in like 13 years or something like that. But, but I was thinking, also, as I was watching this, I was like, yeah. I gotta, I gotta maybe get myself to a, uh, you know, to one of, to one of, to College World Series in Io, Nebraska. Is this? I don't know where it is. Same place every year though, right? Like the finals. I see. Yeah, I said. I mean, maybe if my alma mater, UC San Diego, makes it, I'll go there. You know, I, I could turn back the clock, old school style, you know, and party with the college kids. Here's Chris Murray. You know, I can, I can do that. I'm still kind of cool. Uh, Chris Murray, the ringer, has as a 20, possible 27th overall pick going to uh, Charlotte. This will go to Alan, the letter K. Joe, what's up? On 620, you paid for the Yankees for the two and three. Can you tell me what break that is? It came out of your account, but didn't get a notification. 
Uh, check your spam folder, Joe. I'm kind of in the middle of something right now, but check your spam folder first, because your order confirmations may go there. You got a Jared Bynum. I'm not sure why that's turned around. Maybe that's shorter printed. No, maybe. Here's Jared Bynum again, 207 out of 299. You did. And you did not get one? Because if you didn't, that's, that's a problem. Because those order confirmations are exactly what we use to place uh, to uh, to fill in our orders. So if you didn't get one, that means we probably didn't get one. That means your order didn't go through. You could also try try this, Joe. Go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, log in, and then um, the list of orders should come up and you should have your break number there as well. There's Kalel Ware, Alan with the letter K. Two eighty-eight out of four ninety-nine. Nice gold medalist for the under eighteens. It's pretty cool. Mitchell. And we've got Armando Baycott skyscraping aqua parallel, 18 out of 150. And there's a Leah Boston right there. There you go, gang. Another four box break in the books. Thanks everyone for getting into the action. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Next four box break will be from a fresh case. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.